after uh, completion of uh, axial skeletal system the one more small topic will be there what is that there is a have a some cavities some cavities means it goes to eyeball we can lodge it into the skull area that's eye orbit will be there the lacrimal bones are give the support to the such eyeball is fixed to the eyeball socket also will be there and uh, either side of uh, temporal lobe of the cranium temporal area and cranium there is a have a inside there are three bones are there that is goes to malleus incus stapes we call it as uh, ear ossicles we consider it as a ear ossicles malleus incus stapes there are three bones are there into the ear area there is a uh, ears considered this we consideration after complete of the axial skeletal system now we are going to discuss about appendicular skeletal system appendicular skeletal system is consisting of here uh, limbs limbs is goes to four limbs and in limbs and girdles okay girdles means pectoral girdle and the pelvic girdles we consider here limbs each limb we consisting of a uh, 30 bones each limb we consisting of a 30 bones there are four limbs we consider 120 bones are associated to the limbs now we are going to discuss about four limbs we discuss about four limbs four limbs basically attached to the attached to the this is the thorax area that is goes to pectoral girdle the pectoral girdle there is a have a glenoid cavity the glenoid cavity the bone is attached uh, that is the uh, as the ball and socket joint now we consideration has here we called as humerus the calais humerus humerus behind the humerus there is a have a two bones are there there is a have a two bones are there we called as radius and uh, ulna radius and ulna the two bones are there here there is a have a eight bones are there we called as wrist bones wrist bones we called as carpals wrist bones we called as carpals and these carpals are the formation of a five metacarpals we called as 1 2 3 4 5 five metacarpals will be there here the formation of one Two, one, two, three. Is it going to phalanges? Phalanges is goes to fourteen. Fourteen. The phalanges will be there. These are the fourteen phalanges will be there. The first is goes to thumb area. There is a have a two bones will be articulated. The two bones will be articulated. Here we call it called as a metacarpal. This is goes to carpal bones. Carpal bones. And metacarpal, which is goes to carpal bones, is goes to eight. Metacarpals, metacarpals bones is goes to five. Remaining is a uh, fourteen bones. We can consideration here. The phalanges will be there. The thumb finger we consisting of a uh, two phalanges. Each and every finger we consisting of one, two, three. One, two, three is goes to fourteen phalanges. Three, 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 three is goes to Uh, 12 and this is a 2 is a 14 there is there 14 plus 5 okay 19 19 plus 8 uh, this type of this goes to completely the formation of 30 bones are there humerus 1 3 okay 1 3 is a uh, 1 radius and ulna is goes to carpal is goes to 8 the carpals metacarpals are is goes to 5 metha remaining is a uh, is goes to phalanges this is consideration as a four limbs let us comes to hind limbs we consisting of a hind limbs we consisting of hind limbs hind limbs is articulated with the pelvic region and the pelvic girdle of the body same here also some ball and socket we call as here is goes to femur here we call as a femur and one more two bones here we call as tibia and fibula we call as tibia this is tibia and uh, fibula it is goes to femur tibia and fibula here we consisting of a seven there is a have a seven tarsals will be there seven tarsals will be there 
again with information of a five one two three four and five we consisting of a metatarsals metatarsals will be there here the phalanges will be there two one two three one two three one two three one two three this is the formation of a phalanges this is a, these we call as tarsals we call as ankle bones but carpal we can call as wrist bones wrist bones are eight carp uh, tarsals there is goes to uh, seven will be there one more bone we can suggest here is goes to we call as patella patella we consisting of a formation of a bone like this these we consisting of uh, limbs bones we consisting of 30 30 bones will be present here let us see once again limbs four limbs four links this is a ball and socket which is articulated to the what is that uh, girdle is goes to which girdle is goes to pectoral girdle is attached to the uh, ball and socket the first is goes to humerus here to here we call it as humerus here there is a have a two bones are there one is goes to radius and ulna radius ulna will be there here there is a have a eight bones are there we call it as wrist bones two rows this row this row there are two rows we consisting of your wrist bones these are the five one two three four five five we call as is goes to palm bones we call as palm bones we call as metacarpals will be there metacarpal after metacarpal we consisting of a small small bones we call as phalanges the thumb finger we consisting of a two phalanges remaining is goes to three three will be there this is goes to four limbs bones similarly right and left we consisting of a same uh, orientation of uh, bones next uh, hin limbs hin limb there is a have a pecto pelvic girdle we fix to the ball and socket there is a have a largest bone we call as a femur femur is goes to the two bones which is a have a hip area the call is goes to tibia and a fibula next one is goes to the seven bones will be there here we call it as a tarsal bones will be there remaining goes to metatarsals remaining we consideration of five metatarsals will be there and uh, lastly there is a have a thumb finger there is a have a two remaining is a four is goes to uh, 12 plus 2 is goes to 14 bones will be articulated is goes to called as phalanges will be there these we consisting of the hind limb the small difference between uh, four limb to hind limb there is a have a carpals are eight but tarsals are seven one more bone here is addition to the hind limb that is goes to patella patella is goes to already we know it is goes to ossification of tendon for formation of a patella patella is goes to knee area is articulated bone we call as patella these are about limbs okay it's complete of limbs next we goes to girdles basically we are saying about two girdles one is goes to pectoral girdles pectoral girdle and second one is goes to pelvic girdle pectoral girdle and uh, pelvic girdle will be there and uh, pectoral girdle which are associated by the two bones will be associated to formation of pectoral girdle one is goes to collar bone one is goes to this is to collar bone here uh, there is a have a to formation of a triangular shape of scapula triangle shape of scapula will be there here there is goes to occipital chamber okay this there is a have a some ridge will be there the ridge will is goes to olecranal keel will be there 